Oh, you're right. a good question. Yeah. Uh, why do you call the moderator a moderator rather than a presenter? Because that sounds more prestigious. I know, this is the thing. I have them anyway. on as the presenter, actually. Um, in broadcast, it's for the presenter. I only have it as a moderator because that's the big blue button terminology oh, right. for it, which I've kind of been so thrown in. I think they should yeah. be... Yeah, no, and they are going to be, yeah, they are going to be like a presenter, and you want someone a bit like an anchor on TV that's really like personality driven and takes hard questions, and then you're going to have to have someone else, it's like a community manager that's going to be helping them out. Or they'll be invisible helpers. Yeah, so the way I see it, it's going to be very, very much like you would have in the production of a big kind of uh, news night sort of show. Um, yeah, so yeah, they would be the presenter, or like I call them the big cheese. How about the video okay. linking to the content? How so would that work? Do it, well, I uh, don't know if you know how subtitles work, but if you get a subtitle track, it's basically a list of text with yeah. a time limit against it. Yeah. So you would have, a, you'd have the video starts at a certain point, oh. and you have it annotated at, at, you know, after 30 seconds, this link, and after 45 seconds, this link. So you, you could very easily... It's just, not a problem. So it's, it's not a problem. Yeah. So smile it, would be the kind of neglected standard that would do that. Um, oh yeah, so every time it's being called into the main window, it will know what time from the start of that conversation that's been up. Possibly be smart, you know, maybe there'd be short videos that, that were all just linked together so these appeared fairly seamless, I don't know, you know, one might be, that might be best because they'd load quicker to get the first bits. Still working, but... I don't know. What's that? Synchronised multimedia integration language or something like that. It's an XML language for for hooking together, showing video and playing audio and showing web pages all at the same time. Um, real player was the main thing that ever drove it. I mean, the algorithm is similar, I wouldn't worry about that, because people have been doing like meta moderation and meta moderation algorithms since the mid 90s online, like back to Slashdot and Karushi in the late 90s. And so we can steal one of these. You can dig and read it, so you just copy what they did. Yeah, so it wouldn't necessarily be. Yeah. Perfect, but, but not if it's successful, then you can convert those engineers onto it. Yeah, and, and you, you're still going to always have the problems like the Netflix problem that yeah that you don't necessarily want. But to since you've got human stuff, that you've got human moderators yeah. as well on this, so human mm. presenter, they would compensate for that. It's quite complicated. So you've kind of got about two or three, like three completely separate web apps, really. Because mm. the one you make get at the end, and the one while the show's running, and the one you get Yeah, the shows, this is the thing. You need to shows, make three and things. Tests. And the problem is testing it, because mm -hmm. you can only really test it when you run a real live show with real people. Yeah, but you'd start it in the newsroom. It'd be like, you know, the editorial meeting at the beginning no, no, of the day? No, testing the software. Yeah. Software. Because normally with a website, you get loads and loads of people to use it, and get lots of feedback and iterate it and make it better. But for this, you don't run a show very often, or it's quite hard to run a show with lots of people. Yeah, but you'd run one internally to test it. You could test with all the people in the room. Yeah, yeah you'd have to do it. But that doesn't show you how it's going to react exactly. with 400 people. Yeah. Because it's a big news item. Yeah, true. That's the thing. How it's scaling. Really needs a proper budget. It's not something. This isn't an easy website. It's three major web applications yeah. involving lots of audio and video, which is always going to be complicated. Uh, and, I, yeah, sorry, are you looking at producing it live, or is it pre recorded and then? The big discussion is done live, and then the publishing is going to be an automated process Who's from that. Live in the live side of it, is it six people, or is it six people watched by 400? I thought 400 can vote and Yeah, people can vote and come yeah. in and watch yeah. it, yeah. and put yeah. questions. Yeah. Big fish get called yeah. up, yeah. and then your experts get so are on all the time. And, so and so some people are have audio and video, a bit like Big Blue Button. So only half doesn't they saying it could be in a situation where you're showing a five-minute yeah. segment and uh, loads of people start downvoting it. What, do you carry on playing it? Do you bail? Do you... It's already up. It's, or is it it's, al it's, already, it's already up, but you have the timer, so you can change it and say, right, people have been made their decisions on that. We'll give you 30 seconds, then we're moving on to the next thing. And if something is taking a while for votes to come in, people are very interested in it. about live programs is that they do yeah. tend to be quite flexible things and change things and move things around at the very last second if they need to. Yeah, yeah and that's going to be in that's going to be in the big bucket side of things. When they can drag and drop stuff, they can also move stuff up or down and delete it. And that will also be like kind of like almost like a producer's job. They have the to think things. about it. Um, so what if like, you know, the people... In the middle of the show? I think that might be... And, stuff, and you get that happening at the moment on Twitter that you get people kind of complaining that the talking heads 
let's say they're not got all the internet, like we've spent five seconds with Google and we know the answer to this thing that they're still kind of umming and ahhing about. Um, I don't think I think it'd be much much more difficult for people to yeah. submit things into the bucket as the show's going live. What you can submit is you can submit a question and you could put a URL that way. Right. And then maybe that can be dragged in. Um, but the whole point is is that hopefully you should have all the really good content before the show so, starts. Well, you and if it's different, yeah. And, like, if you're the news person, you, want, you don't want to be caught out. Off if, like, there was this thing you could see in the comments that blew most of your like, big bucket out of the water yeah. and you couldn't drag it in and kind of go, actually, we're going to switch. Yeah, like something that's it. just happened. Either it's just happened or that there's some cute, you know, somebody's worked out something that uh, sort of sheds a whole new angle on the story. Yeah, I'm going to have to accommodate for that. Well, um, that's not necessarily cute. Not As you say, it's a no, question and, you can, and if you've got moderators, the moderators can kind of go, actually, this looks big at you. Yeah, they should the be, you know, the, the people in the background, like the producers. Kind of the big bucket, because actually that's really important. Um, then uh, yeah. it's kind of their responsibility at the end of the day. If, if, if it turns out to be some like, yeah. really stupid thing that should yeah. have been put in the big bucket, then... Yeah. I think rather than allowing anyone who's watching to put something in the bucket during yeah, the show, no, not, it should yeah. be someone who's like the community manager mm -hmm. at the news organisation, that they're going to have privileges, that they can throw something in and it will yeah. go red and go straight to the top. If that's the case. I think for the top level, you probably want to build it as a bespoke platform. But there's a lot of libraries and stuff which will, in the back end, will make it. So like, there's already Twitter libraries in Twitter, because it's already started, started by an API, people have done tools. Google Translate, things like that. Yeah, Google so Translate, translate. Yeah, I think you're so, worrying about them more than yeah. you need to, to some extent. There'll be so, APIs that'll do some sort of Not necessarily that thing. all of them be easy to use, but all, yeah. most of them already exist. Yeah. But then from the content generation, some of the actual generating the content, you probably want to do that as a bespoke application. Mm -hmm. Which isn't that, again, it's not actually that complicated. What happens if there's a media organisation that's got the best content? This is another thing I have to think about, because things uh, like Huffington Post system. aggregate yeah. content, and I think you can take a certain amount of it, and like The Guardian have it off in an API. That's something that, again, you have to think about is well, well, licensing. For instance, uh, BBC oh, has some footage that isn't online. Show on TV, for then you link to the article that has it. it. They should always put it online. If the BBC have anything good on TV, they always put it online. The BBC, some other alternative. Well, all the, yeah, all the times which is behind paywall. Yeah, and you can't use it. Yeah, this is the thing you have to think about. Like with the big bucket, there's, gonna, there's probably going to be some things people can't use. But then it, but you can blog about it. If you can't, if that article really, really speaks to you. You can blog about it and submit that, and there'll be a link to the article from that. And that's the whole point, is that now you can almost have your own URL for your content, or your comment. Would you be able to create a, a topic, create a big picture? Oh, this, I want this to be built in for news by a news organisation, but then I want them to open it up to the public, where they don't need to do it for news issues, because I was thinking things like Mumsnet could do things like the best roast chicken, Right. And just put tons of stuff on it. And you think as well, you know, um, marketers, marketing people, where they have to get groups. Have you, you know, we watch The Apprentice, where they have to get groups of people that are like, say, ooh, what do you think about this product? What do you think about other products on the market? And then they have to pay them for that, and then they have to pay their taxi fare. I think this is something you can market to them, where they just pay people online for their time, and then they can do it at home, and then afterwards you get this sort of content thing. So, yeah, no, I was thinking it could be relevant. People can take it on and do tons of other things with it. But what I want it for is I want it for uh, news issues because I think that's what's actually missing yeah. in the news.